Look at how beautiful that one is. It's shiny. It's a beautiful, authentic product. The values I got from my parents are very important to me, and I want to pass them on to my children. Espelette peppers are a traditional product that has been around for centuries, but it's a product with a bright future. At the foot of the Pyrenees lies Espelette. This charming Basque village is famous for its chili peppers. The local variety is named after the village. Claire Savaro is an Espelette chili farmer. A designated growing area, hand-picking, and a defined harvest season are all criteria that must be met if her chili peppers are to obtain a protected designation of origin label every year. Under this carpet of green are the Espelette chili peppers, which we generally harvest from mid-August to November. What's important is for the chili to be red all over. These are really ripe. Look how smooth they are. They look as if they've been wiped clean. And you also get these flowers, which are extremely elegant. They're tiny and white. We have some smaller fruits which are still growing, some fruits which are fully grown but are still green, and then others which are red. The protected designation of origin means we can only harvest the chilies when they're completely red. So, once a fortnight, we come to the fields and pick the red ones. For example, that green chili there. When we come back in a fortnight, it will be red and we'll be able to pick it. Nature is clever because the later it gets in the season, the less we'll have to bend down to pick the chili peppers. When we come to pick the last chili peppers in November, our backs will be aching, but the chilies will be high up, so we'll just have to reach over to pick them. Chilies first grew on the other side of the Atlantic in 6000 BC. It was the great explorers from the time of Christopher Columbus who brought them back from Mexico to the Basque region. The plants have thrived on this land ever since, thanks to a combination of factors. What makes an area suitable for growing Espelette chili peppers is the soil, the temperature and the hygrometry. Here we are about 10 kilometers from the ocean and we're surrounded by small mountains, Artsamendi, Andorain, Rune, etc. And between the ocean and these small mountains, a microclimate has formed. And that climate is quite tropical. It's warm and wet. And it's those temperatures and that hygrometry that make this a good place to grow Espelette chili peppers. Toward October, we pick out the best peppers and remove the seeds. And then those seeds are used to grow new plants the following year. Choosing the best peppers every year means, as you can see from the 20 or so that I've picked here, that they're almost all the same shape. Do you see? They vary in length, of course, but they're all smooth and plump. They really are prototypes of the Espelette pepper. If you don't start with the best seeds and plant it properly, you don't get good chili powder at the end of the cycle. It's not possible. Claire and her father, Jean-Michel, manage a farm with 100,000 plants. They never use pesticides or irrigation systems in their fields. Look at how beautiful that one is. It's shiny. It's a beautiful, authentic product. The values I got from my parents are very important to me, and I want to pass them on to my children. Espelette peppers are a traditional product that has been around for centuries, but it's a product with a bright future. So far, we've produced powdered chili, strings of chilies, and fresh chilies. But we realize there's lots more we could do. We could work with pulps, creams, concentrates and juices too. There are lots of ways of creating new products to ensure that these chilies survive here for centuries to come. Once they have been harvested, they are turned into chili powder and the process is examined in detail. 
They are dried, the stalks are removed, then they are cooked and then crushed. Finally, they are tasted and analysed like a fine wine. What's this powder like? It looks good. Yes. Looks pretty red to me. What do you think? It's a lovely colour. Yeah, it's a lovely red. There are brownish reds, red reds and orangey reds. But once they're all mixed together, the dominant colour is red. The red really stands yeah, out. Yeah, the red dominates. Aesthetically, this is going to be great. Yeah. This is our secret room. We call it the black room. It's tucked away inside the shop. It's a special room for tasting the chilli powder. Because every lot of powder that we produce is tasted by a panel of judges who decide if it's worthy of the appellation or not. We check the aroma, the colour, the texture, the piquancy, etc. Basically to see whether the powder gets the stamp of approval. First of all, it must be predominantly red. If it's too orangey or yellow, that's generally not a good sign for the flavour and so on. So it's important that it's red. Mm. That's amazing. Are you getting tomato too? I'm getting tomato, but also hay. But it doesn't smell toasted. No, I'm not getting that It's not either. coming through. Let's see if it comes out in the taste. Mm. It's it's sweet. sweet. Yeah, very sweet. The heat's quite intense. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got a long finish. It's long, but it's not excessive, I think. It's just the right amount of heat. We are a bit like wine tasters, only with chilies. So we've invented a job title, Pimentier. You won't find the word in the dictionary. It means espelet pepper expert, someone who knows how to bring the best out in this product. In addition to winning the judging panel over, Claire tries to introduce local chefs to her product. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Hello, how's it going? Fine. I brought some products, as we discussed. Great. We looked at this last time. Shall I open it? Yes, go ahead. Let's start with a jelly. The puree is stronger, so if you start with a jelly, you'll still have the palate for the puree. Is this just chilli? Yes, we've added a bit of sugar and a bit of agar for texture. Right, OK. But the idea was for it to be pure espalette chilli pepper. Flora and Clément have just opened this gourmet restaurant in the heart of Espalette village. They are trying out a new recipe in which espalette peppers are the surprise element. You don't need to peel the tomatoes, just give them a good wash. We're going to just use the juice. Then we'll add onion, garlic, celery, ginger and chilli. You can add it all at once. It makes no difference. Then we stir it all together to make a red curry using espelette chilies instead of Asian chilies. We want to use local ingredients. Now we have the chilli. I'm going to be generous with it. That's definitely the colour of chilies. That's great. The appearance really matters. A nice red colour is much more appetising than a more orangey colour. So we're making a red curry sauce using espelette peppers. The idea is to taste the chilli first, and then the rest. It's important nowadays to think about the environment. We have good chilli peppers in France, so there's no need to go looking for them elsewhere. It's surprising. I was expecting it to taste much stronger. It's got a kick to it. It's strong and fresh at the same time. The Espelette peppers bring an interesting freshness to the dish. If you get just the right amount, you want to come back for more, and it becomes addictive.